Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost Judgment. Things are getting more crazy, more confusing, and more complicated. The three big C's, I guess. There has been footage of Mikoshiba's murder released to the public, and it is showing that Ehara was the one who killed him. So, either that is faked, or the groping situation is faked because he had an alibi. There was no way that he could have been in both places in that span of time. So yeah, we got to figure out what is real, what is fake, and exactly what happened that day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. See you guys in the comments. Sorry, sounds looking up Yui Mamiya's home address for us. Kaito and I are going to grab some grub in the meantime. Yui Mamiya. The woman who is groped. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. Huh. You think they want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. Don't look friendly. They do look like they mean business. Mm hmm. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito-san, there's more. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want. Let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. Get away from Genda Law Office. We gone. We out of there. All right. I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hey, quit dicking around and come get some. What the hell? They're just going to keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes. Oh, oh, shit. Let me guess. You're RK too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! Glass flying and everything. I haven't done any heat actions with weapons yet, or well, maybe with like one thing so far. Let's go. Switch this up here. Hey, <laughs> Kaito. It's one down. <laughs> We're not out of the woods just yet. Went all out on the backup. Is the whole town arcade now or something? Doc, 
We should probably get gone before the cops are on it. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. in waves. I've about had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sarisan and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Point. So why not get RK at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akutsu are at the top, and they probably remember me. I'll just ask them real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club at the back of Theater Square. It used to be arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. Go to the RK Hangout. Let's bring the fight to them. Okay, here we are. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Maybe I should have bought some healing items. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B rank. Oh. And just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? <laughs> you should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Going into gang turf without backup is too dangerous, even for Kaito. We have no clue how many members are back there, or what they're doing. Relax, Tak. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Whatever I want? So can I go with talk? Uh, with uh, <laughs> with Kaito? Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends? I don't think he wants to be friends. It's been 10 minutes since Kaito san went in. I have no clue what's going on. There's no sign of him returning. Guess that means. Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you in RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash in Kamrocho, RK's where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. 
Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F minus? The fuck did you just say? <laughs> he called oh, you a did flunky. I you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. Oh. I'll show you, soft asshole! <laughs> oh, jeez! Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Ouch! Is he gonna be okay? Is he alive? Never should have let Kaito-san come in here alone. I have to find him. Now. Not like sitting around would do the case any good anyway. Wow, dude. That guy... That guy fell oh, hard. Oh, stealth. You know what? Kaito, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> he doesn't need me. First, I need to find Kaito-san. He's supposed to be talking to Akutsu right now. And are all these guys RK? It'd be a pain to take all of them on. Besides, if I make a scene, who knows what might happen to Kaito-san. I need to find a way around without getting noticed by them. Let's start off by searching that room. Jeez, let me just fight him. Let me just fight. Come on. Looks like no one's in here. Let's see if anything in here can do me some good. <laughs> Suspicious. Oh, a breaker panel. Maybe I can cut the lights with this? Make it easier to sneak around? Ah, uh, no good. I don't know which ones to flip. I don't need to make it any harder to find Kaito-san either. We could use the box again, maybe? Uh -huh. <laughs> A safe. Wish I could see what was in it, but without the passcode, all I can do is stare at the thing. Suspicious. Hmm, they seem pretty sturdy. Maybe they'll help in a pinch. that i ought to fit in this ventilation duct maybe it'll end up getting me where i need to be but even if i can't reach that high anything i can use to leg up get a leg up okay to foothold hey oh this looks like the perfect size let's give it a try here we go Okay, that ought to do it. Let's do it already. Let's go. I should be able to reach the duct like this. Time for some duct work. Whoa. And we're up. And we have no body now. We are... We are bodiless. that new guy get taken to? Oh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? For real. Sounds like it. For real? I see. It looks like Kaito-san was taken to the VIP room. Shh. Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? VIP room seems to be that way. All right, let's check it out. a bartender. I guess he's just sending up. 
Maybe it's just from up here, but he kind of looks like me. I just had an idea. Let's see if I can track that guy down. Are we going to take our his clothes and glasses? It's a wiggity swooty. I'm coming for you. I lost sight of him. Shit, should I go back? Oh, never mind. <gasps> Dang. Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. <laughs> Not bad. I might actually pull this off. I don't know. His hair is not, like, scruffy enough like ours. Don't mind me. Great, even more of them hanging around. If I get surrounded here, it's all over. I better be extra careful if I have to deal with any of them. Hey, you there! Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around! Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. I guess I don't have any choice but to make this guy his drink. Hang on, maybe this is what I needed. If I put him under the table with some strong booze, I can clear out of here. It's worth a shot anyway. Hope you know some hangover cures, fellas. What'll it be? Some very intense shaking with eye contact there. Here, sir. actually managed to get through that somehow. My disguise worked against the one guy, but that guy guard looks harder to trick. I won't be able to get into the VIP room unless I do something about him. I should lure him into the shadows on the other side and take him out there. But that means I'll have to cut across this floor. Gotta be careful about this. Oh gosh. What? Oh god. We messed up already. Oh, I'm screwed if I get too close. Wait. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Did 
Did we win? That's a good boy. Stealth complete. Easy. I'm glad that they, I mean, the stealth in, in Rebirth was harder than this. I'm glad that they're giving me an easy time of it. <laughs> I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You I don't, don't want to be a civilian that. again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store? Pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say... us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses, eh? Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. <laughs> well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. You sure? <laughs> you fuckers are the ones who don't I love know these shit. Two. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! Let's go! <laughs> what the duo we have here. Let's go! like that all right so there we go i was gonna say i'm really struggling with this disarming business but sometimes it's just hard to grab them I don't think hey, you can really 
parry them with weapons ass. either, can you? Right. Sorry, boss. Yo! Fuck them up, boys! Ooh, let's use this. Crap. I'm hurting. I got my Ichiban rice cracker. Better use it. Kaito. Dumbass, you down already? No, sir. Come on, poor guy. Do this. Let's use it. Get up. Get up. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, that's brutal. understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. You made quite a mess here. Soma? Kazuki Soma. Tak, meet Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't have been easy, man. 
I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the immediate term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Oh. How'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamurocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. Got some SP out of that. I guess we shouldn't have taken RK so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly, some was the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full time bodies so far. But if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho, huh? Sorry, son's calling. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Ikebukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Yeah, I don't need you hitting on okay. her. I'll or head anything, back to the Kaito. office when I'm done. So, I have a question. What's the difference between the Tojo clan or like the Yakuza and what the RK are trying to build? In the end, isn't it like kind of the same thing? Or what? I gotta go see Saudi! Get away from me! I gotta go see my girl. My hot gothy mommy. Hey, this is the best way to travel through the streets. Just get some guys to chase you and then you get some rad music. You gotta fight them eventually, but at least you get some rad music while you're getting to your destination. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Time to head for the home of Ahara's victim, who doesn't know we're dropping by. <laughs> Mamiya's apartment. Probably not going to be too happy to see us. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami san, one whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. 
Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. But let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. Yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office. The attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand. But we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry. But the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right. But I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Even saudi son can whip up a solid approach for this. Are we really out of luck here? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari. Here. Hold, hold on! And? <laughs> I can't let this be the end. I need to talk her into opening this door, somehow. Uh, empathize with her. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help. But if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand. And it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. Nice going. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. He's really? a sweet talker. <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? <laughs> He's the sly I'm one. Joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Yui Mamiya, victim. Okay, bye bye. We'll make this quick. We could use a conversation over with Mamiya. Let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look around for something useful. Hmm. He's always thinking, always crafting and scheming. What part of this is empathizing with her? I was wondering when the empathizing part was going to come out and all that, but... <laughs> I don't think empathize was really the right word for that. Do I remember dressing up Saudi for undercover mission in the last game? Every time I see her, I always think about that. <laughs> Every time her name is mentioned... I always think about that, Surf and Frog. Hey. The child's drawing, probably of his mother. They even put an, it in a nice frame. How cute. Suspicious. A children's bicycle. Obviously that boy belongs to the boy we just met. Hey. If I remember correctly, Yui Mamiya lives here with her husband and son. They seem pretty happy in this picture.
Looking at her now, you wouldn't guess it, but she's even done undercover work as a hostess at a popular club. Oh yes, I remember. Suspicious. That's Yui Mamiya. Wife, mother, office worker, and victim of Ahara's perversion. She got on the same train in Ikebukuro, where she ended up having to suffer through Ahara groping her. What else do you want me to look at, game? Hmm. Hey. Oh, I can come in the room? Oh, I guess I can come in the room. I thought... I thought if I came in here, it would start the... Suspicious. This place is so clean, even without expecting guests. I had to do the same with my office. Hey. Quite the layout they've got here. The kitchen has a clear view of the living room. What the? The kid's playset must be nice, having a place big enough for one of those. <laughs> Look at that kid. Suspicious. Yui Mami is six year old son. Cute kid. I guess he's just started grade school. He seems pretty excited by visitors dropping by. Looks like his dad's not home yet, though. Now we're done. Okay. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No, what you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic, hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. Great. Now the pressure's really on. Seems to be a recurring thing lately. In the security footage, as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there, to the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why are you looking Why would you at, say me? That and look at me? <laughs> I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you OK? 
okay, Mommy? Aww. I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. Looks like this is going to be ending soon no matter what. I should keep my questions brief. Up to now, I haven't heard any contradictions between Mommy's account and the security footage. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the Groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. A and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? Hmm? There's one thing that contradicts? Well, she said she never lost sight of him. But how do we know that that's contradictory? Or was it something else she said? Huh, I don't know. There's one thing that contradicts. Oh, I have to figure it out. Okay, um... Well, the thing that contradicts is that he couldn't be in two places at once, right? Base element inspection, transit card, security footage, train car security footage. Um, station security footage, eyewitness smartphone footage. What contradicts? Overhead view of the platform. I don't know. What piece of evidence contradicts Yui Mamiya's story? This one? That he was in he couldn't be in two places at once? I don't know. Well, on the same day at 6 30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's tormentor. That's awful! But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, 
I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. What? What did we yes. get out of that? and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. So basically, her account that she never lost sight of him, for, not for a moment, confirms that there was I'd no like to report Mommy's swapping. The rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. So proving Yo, the footage wait. of the murder was hey, fake? I just got back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried our kid got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. Are we ready, Yagami-san? We're ready. Let's start with our visit to Mamiya-san, if that sounds reasonable to you. Unreasonable. Yeah, let's start there. Oh, side cases? Ooh. So, the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, that's a good point, well, Genda. Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. Which means... Who uploaded Ahara's murder footage to the internet? Ahara posted the video himself. The prosecutor posted the video. Ahara's accomplices posted it. The Kanagawa detectives posted it. Why would... Okay, I don't understand some of these options. It would be difficult for Ahara to post it because he's been in police custody this whole time. I feel like it's most likely that his accomplices posted it, but why would the... Why would the... So the... Why would the Kanagawa detectives post it? How would the prosecutor get a hold of... How would the detectives or the prosecutor get a hold of it? The video footage. Ahara's accomplices posted it. The murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Hmm? Huh? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he'd have an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Oh. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting To them. put... That's bring well to the light. Good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example... The true culprit would be taped murdering Mikashiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo-san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. 
then let's tackle this from the stance that the video is actually real. If that's the case, there has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I think we've collected enough evidence to find it too. We did? Before meeting with Yui Mamiya, didn't you mention the possibility of Ahara using a stand? -in? I mentioned that possibility Perhaps the real first. Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Ijincho, then swapped places with the imposter so he could be detained. But we couldn't find an opportunity for the swap to happen, remember? From the moment he set foot on the Ikebukuro platform, Ihara was constantly on camera. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? Huh? Ihara wasn't constantly on camera between the station and Ikebukuro and Shinjuku. And the proof is because there's a, a hole in the footage, um, like area of sight. But she said that he was in her view the whole time when she was chasing him, so... But I mean, if it was crowded, if they swapped places, like... <sighs> I don't know. Remember how we mocked up a diagram of the Shinjuku station platform? Mm hmm Yeah. No, oh, wait! That's it! You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. I said that yesterday. You guys are slow. Of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. They should hire me. Hey. <laughs> yes, this is the spot I'm looking for. It's very brief, but there's a moment <laughs> where Ahara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the groper, the fake Ahara, traded places with the real one? Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Yeah. Did the two really swap places without her noticing? In a Probably. Crowd like that, I think it's feasible. If that really was Ihara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah! Called it. Think <laughs> about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance, as Hoshino-kun pointed out? Oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshino-kun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Yeah? What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? If everything on the day of the murder, including the train groping, was planned from start to finish, what else can we possibly deduce? Hiro Mikoshiba is still alive? Huh? If Mikoshiba's murder was a, was set up, then what else can we deduce? They lost me. They lost me here. Where, where, where did we get that the murder was a setup? How did we come to that conclusion? I thought we were saying that they meticulously planned out every detail of the swap. I was thinking from from the start of the possibility that Yui Mamiya is is in on this, and she could have easily said that he was in her sight the whole time, but he wasn't, or that you know she saw them swap, but she could just say that she didn't. Hiro Mikoshiba is still alive. Then what body was it that they found? Didn't they ID the body as Hiro Mikoshiba? 
The real murder took place in Kamurocho? Where did this come from? What? Where did the... This, these seem so... Random. The prosecution faked the footage. No, I'm... I'm gonna go with this one because this was my original thought and none of these make where did they come from none of these made any sense they just seem so out of left field I know this won't go over well but what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along huh bear with me let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance if that's the case the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know and there would You're be no the chance of, of her hoping conspired with her assailant beforehand that's ridiculous well i mean if if they're conspiring from the start then she's not a victim is she i mean nobody even saw the groping who's to say that he actually touched her if they were in on it together he could have just sta been standing really close behind her and like I said, got the fabric on his, like the fabric traces on his fingers, like even before any of this happened. It's not a suggestion I'm fond of, but I have to consider the possibility of Mamiya playing a part in this conspiracy. Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. But we can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. Yeah. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know it. They caught Ahara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ahara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, if she's in well, on it... that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. For example, while the stand-in was showing himself at the security cameras, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. It's not impossible. We can work out the other details later. But the point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible Ahara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. I also wanted to point... I just... Uh, from, there was something that bothered me about this whole... Um, groping story from the start. But I just, I didn't really, it was just kind of like in the back of my mind. Like, how come, I just thought it was weird that she got groped on the train and she didn't say a damn thing. And then all of a sudden she's chasing him and shouting out to everybody. But I just thought I was being too overcritical about a video game you know anyways i just i don't know i just thought that was weird but i didn't say anything because i thought i was just being you know too picky about the details i'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing and when it comes to the prosecution they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong plus they can't question ahara about mikoshiba's murder in fact, their only option is to claim the tape was faked. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. Well, his court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? The school, the investigative committee, and the court all agreed. There wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this, What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable, and she's even raising a child. So why would she do something so enormously risky 
as helping establish a murder alibi. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. But maybe she was promised something that far exceeds the risk. Or she was or threatened. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her, even? Enough to make her help with a murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? A 53-year-old patrolman and a married office worker and mother. The only connection between them so far is the train station itself. What info do we have on Mamiya anyway? Maybe we can spot a connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information. Just a second. Oh. I just thought of something else those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But if he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable. Which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. That's true. Looks oh. like Ahara pulled one over on the prosecution then. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victim. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo, attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy, later graduated from Toto University. Hmm. Huh. Good for her. Met her husband on the job, apparently. Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotakun, who's now in first grade. Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijincho. I recall correctly. Someone spying on me went there. Wasn't I just at that school? Isn't that where Tsukumo graduated? Uh, I don't remember any mention of Kurokawa Academy. That is something that I did not did not pick up on. Someone spying on me went there. Who spied on us before? Wasn't I just at that school? No, we're at Seiryo. Maybe it must have been Tsukumo? I don't know. That's not where Tsukumo went, was it? Before, you know, closing himself off to the world? Nah, Tsukumo-san studied remotely. He told me that when we were out having drinks one night. Wait, Tsukumo went out drinking with you? Yeah, we had fun. What did you guys even talk about? Hey, why am I getting grilled all of a sudden? I agree. This is nowhere near relevant. <laughs> Yagami-san, what were you saying about Kurokawa Academy? Oh, right. Uh... Oh. Oh, now I remember, Psycho, when we were checking the murder scene. Yeah, and those three guys. They mentioned that they all went to school together. I think. Or am I getting it mixed up with the time capsule? <laughs> Someone spying on me went there? When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us they were just checking things out, but they mentioned they're Kurokawa grads too. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Okay, son. Age 30. Kaike age son. 30. Age 30. Hmm. Mommy is 30 as well. What's that got to do with anything? Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ohara? I found the Kurokawa Academy website. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lived. Oh. What? The girls there get such cute uniforms. Oh, she know? You Focus. Little. You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait, I've seen that uniform before too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher at Serio High. Mm -hmm. Sawa sensei. Tara's son confided in her. Is she actually a Kurokawa grad too? 
I don't know Sawa Sensei's exact age, but she could well be 30. Maybe all of them are even classmates. Could this mean they're actually linked? The victim and her up to now unrelated assailant? It's a tenuous link at best. Could fall apart any time. But no true detective alive would pass it up. Okay, so Mamiya's husband, they said, graduated from Kurokawa Academy. She's the same age as those other three guys who went to Kurokawa Academy, and then possibly Sawa-san went there as well. Well, she did, because there was a picture of her in the uniform. So she went to Kurokawa. Not her husband. Okay, but she did. So the only link of that to Ahara is that those guys were watching them, were checking up on the murder scene. That's how they're connecting possibly Ahara to... Or was Sawa-san? <sighs> Alright, let's just keep going. 